Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video we are going to calculate the range when the projectile is projected on an inclined surface. Now suppose this is an inclined surface of inclination beta with the horizontal. So this is the horizontal direction is along x axis and this vertical direction is along y axis. Now suppose this projectile it is projected from this foot of the incline with velocity u and this velocity it is making an angle alpha with the horizontal direction okay now this projectile it traces a parabolic path and it strikes at this point a okay and suppose this is this point is b this point of projection is o so now oa is the range along the inclined surface and suppose this oa is r and this is to be found so this is the range okay we need to find this range now if oa is equal to r and uh, this inclination of the incline is beta so this will be r cos beta and ab will be r sin beta so this is ab okay so that means the coordinates of this point A, coordinates of A will be R cos beta and R sin beta. This is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. Okay. Now for angular projection, for angular projection, if this is x axis, this is y axis. If projectile is projected with velocity u at an angle theta with the horizontal, this is the trajectory. And the equation of trajectory, we know that it is equal to y is equal to x tan theta minus g x square by 2 u square cos square theta. Okay. Now, this theta is the angle made by the velocity vector with the x axis. With the x axis. Okay. Now, we will be using this equation to find the range for our case now y is uh, in our case it is r sine beta okay so y is r sine beta so we will have r sine beta is equal to x is r cos beta so r cos beta tan theta theta is the angle made by velocity vector with x axis in our case the velocity vector is making an angle alpha with x axis so it is tan alpha minus g x square so this is r square cos square beta divided by 2 u square cos square theta theta in our case it is alpha so this is cos square alpha okay so now if i divide both sides by cos beta okay so i divide this by cos beta divide this by cos beta and divide this by cos beta okay so what do we get sine beta by cos beta so this is r tan beta is equal to r tan alpha minus g r square cos beta divided by 2 u square cos square alpha okay so if, now if i take this term over this side and this r tan beta on this side so I will get g r square cos beta divided by 2 u square cos square alpha is equal to this term over here and this term over there and I am taking r common from these two terms so r tan alpha minus tan beta okay so now this r and this square term gets cancelled okay so now we are left with g cos beta divided by this r is there so this r divided by 2 u square cos square alpha is equal to tan alpha is sin alpha by cos alpha minus sin beta by cos beta okay now this term is equivalent to fatigue LCM sin alpha 
cos beta minus sin beta cos alpha divided by cos alpha cos beta okay sin alpha cos beta minus sin beta cos alpha this is equal to sin alpha minus beta so this is g cos beta r divided by 2 u square cos square alpha is equal to sin alpha minus beta divided by cos alpha cos beta okay so now this is cos alpha this is cos square alpha so this also gets cancelled so range becomes r is equal to this term will go over there so it will be 2 u square cos alpha sin alpha minus beta divided by g this is cos beta this is also cos beta so this is cos square beta so this is the expression for range along the inclined surface now this range expression for range can also be written as r is equal to u square See, this is 2 cos a sin b so that is equal to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b so this can be written as sin a plus b so 2 alpha minus beta a minus b this alpha minus alpha plus so this will be minus sin beta divided by g cos square beta so this is another way of writing the expression for range on the inclined surface okay now suppose we have to identify the condition for maximum range okay condition for maximum range condition for maximum range so for maximum range the range will be maximum when this term has see we cannot change the value of u so this we have the range is difference of these two quantities so range will be maximum when this quantity is maximum okay so sine of 2 alpha minus beta this need to be maximum okay maximum value of sine is pi by 2 the sine pi by 2 is 1 maximum value of sine is 1 so sine pi by 2 is 1 so that means this sine of 2 alpha minus beta it should be equal to sine pi by 2 okay or we can write 2 alpha minus beta is equal to pi by 2 okay so that gives alpha is equal to pi by 4 plus beta by 2 so this should be the angle of projection with respect to the horizontal see this alpha is the angle with x axis the horizontal so the beta is already fixed we can't change beta okay so alpha should be pi by 4 plus beta by 2 then in that case the range will be maximum and what will be the maximum value of range so we need to substitute the value of alpha over this in this equation so r max will be equal to see for maximum range this quantity is 1 so this u square 1 minus sin beta divided by g cos square beta okay now this can be written as u square 1 minus sin beta this as g cos square beta is 1 minus sin square beta so that is 1 plus sin beta 1 minus sin beta so this cancels out so this gives r max is equal to u square divided by g 1 plus sin beta so this is the maximum range and this is the condition for maximum range